I have a confession to make. I absolutely love these overcast, drizzly days in the mountains. So this is the first time I've done anything like this for a high country deer hunt, but I'm uh, leaving a cache for me to come back to later. I just saw a couple bucks just pop out down there, so we're gonna see what they look like here in a sec. Oh yeah, he's real nice. There's a real nice buck down there. A few cliff bars, three cans of sardines, one can of smoked oysters, and four um, dehydrated meals. They each have 600 calories each. Okay, in this bag, in this dry bag, hopefully nothing gets into it, but uh, I have some, I have like this camo material. Um, used as a makeshift blind. There's there's a one big animal path down there that the last couple of years I've seen the bucks take towards their midday nap. So I want to have the option to kind of set up a makeshift blind when I can. Um, I got game bags, four of them for deer. Um, I got an emergency space blanket. Uh, I can use that either for myself or to lay it down when I'm butchering uh, an animal. I got some rope to hang the meat or to use for my makeshift blind. I got this five gallon um, foldable jug of water. So I got water over here and usually I camp so high up there. I wanna have the option of, of gathering water down here, taking it up there and not having to come back down for water, you know, at least for a few days, a couple days. And last, I got this large fuel can. Um, when I'm packing in, I like to carry just a tiny one, save weight, but I like having the option of like an emergency supply here. So I'm just gonna take this and stuff it under the tree here. Take this, stuff it under the tree here, and come back this uh, September. It was pretty fun seeing those deer. I'm really glad I brought my camera. I was debating on it because I was trying to get in and out really fast, but uh, I'm really glad I did. Those are some of the best uh, velvet muley picks I've gotten so far. So that's a wrap for my first and probably my only scouting trip for deer at least. I feel pretty confident in the area. I've hunted it so many years that uh, I don't necessarily need to scout per se, but uh, it was good to lay eyes on this year's bucks. I was supposed to be here yesterday, but I got hit with COVID a few days ago, so I've been in bed with a fever. <clears throat> um, so I parked at the trailhead last night camped in the back of my car and started out about 3.30 this morning. Still about a mile away from my spot and already across the valley from me. I spotted so many deer, probably three dozen. Two little bucks walked 28 yards in front of me, just below my camp. It's the middle of the day in this really rocky area, not a lot of feed. It's like not, I mean, I'm almost at the top of the mountain, 
it's not a place that I would expect to see deer in the middle of the day. Um, I don't know if somebody or something spooked them up here. Uh, they were kind of jumpy from the get. Uh, they just walked past me fine. They didn't see me 28 yards. And by the time they were down about 60 yards away, uh, the wind blew directly at them and they smelled me and took off running. That was one of the best stalks I've made. Um, I got about 35 yards away. He was bedded just in those trees back there. And uh, I got too eager. I tried moving forward even though I knew I was within 40 yards. And uh, I stepped on a twig and he heard it and that was enough for him to run. Damn it. Well, I decided to relocate camps um, about two miles away. <clears throat> it's just the action's not what I was hoping for down here. Um, and I was seeing as soon as the sun comes up, the deer just go straight to the timber and you can't stalk them because you can't, you can't see where they're actually bedded down. And uh, looking across the valley from me two miles away and you can see the deer out in the open and then when the sun comes up they just bed down in those dwarf willows and there's a lot of them there's probably three dozen groups within three different bowls and um i'm sorry three dozen individuals within three different groups and uh i've also spotted another bear across there today so it just makes sense to to move on I am looking at one of the biggest black bears I've ever seen, especially out in the backcountry like this. He's so fat, he's got a hump on his shoulder. He looks like a grizzly, but he's just a big black bear. There's actually a herd of elk down here, and he's just feeding on grass maybe 200 yards away from him, but they're all spooked. They're all staring at him. I wish I, I, wish I had a bigger lens I could show you guys. First morning since I relocated yesterday, and uh, I've already found the big group of deer I was glassing up from across the mountain. And there is a really nice buck in the middle. It's very big, very old too. And uh, a bunch of other smaller bucks as well. All of those are nice. Look at that one in the middle. That's an absolute monster. Oh my god.
Oh, that was so close. That was one of the best stalks I've ever had. I got about 70 yards away from my target buck, but he was feeding way um, by the time I got there. He had been bedded in, uh, I got actually about 10 yards from where I first saw him bedded, but by then he was 70 yards away and I couldn't get any closer before it got dark. But they have no idea that I'm here. Um, they're still down feeding down there in the bowl. So hopefully tomorrow morning they'll be there and they'll bed in the same spot and I can make the same play on them. Just double long the buck at about 40 yards. I've been waiting at this ambush point here, waiting for him to go back to his afternoon feeding area. I've been waiting for six hours. I'm so dehydrated, uh, so bored sitting there. And uh, you know, it was about 38 yards. He was, he stopped and saw me draw, and I was shaking, and I just. I composed myself long enough to take the shot and it was perfect. I, he went over this hill and I watched him tumble down and, and stop moving. Oh, I'm so relieved. Here's the arrow. Oh my God. I think that's only my third archery buck ever. I couldn't be more happier. Just content. He's not a giant, but I'm I'm so happy with him. I've worked so hard. This has been, uh, let's see, this is day number, this is day number f f six. This is day number six of nonstop hunting. <sighs> let's go get him. I've had this sow and this cub feeding right below me. Uh, not a care in the world. He's about 300 yards away. So obviously I've been trying to keep my eyes down there. Uh, unfortunately, there's a that's where I want to put the meat for now. There's a creek running down there, but <clears throat> looks like I got to find a new spot.